Gaga. This is my neighborhood cat. Hi, Gaga, come here. She's my best friend. Hey, hey, my love. He's so beautiful. Hey, kitty. She wants to go. So she goes up to everyone. No, 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 I'm not going home. I'm going to work. <laughs> she goes up to everyone and she's very vocal. And she wants to be pet. And I, sometimes I feed her. I'm pretty sure she has a home because she looks very clean and well taken care of. She gives me so much love. Hi, Gaga. How was your day? Say hi to Mimi, friends. Hey, my beauty. Hey, beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes. What are you up to today? You gonna go for a walk? Oh, he's so cute. She's like, where's the food today? You didn't bring me any food. <laughs> Hey beauty, hey! You guys probably remember her for some of the fashion videos she was in. Come here! I love you! Mm. <laughs> so I have my friend... <laughs> I have my friend here visiting from um, Canada. Hi Vaila! Hi! <laughs> And Alex, that's how I usually do it. I put people on the spot. <laughs> so we were talking about how great of a time right now it is to start a YouTube channel. Yes, Alex? Especially if you have a personality like Naida. <laughs> this one right here has such a fun personality. She just moved to London from Toronto all by herself. In the first two weeks, got a job at Selfridges as a manager. <laughs> like, amazing. This girl is only 25 years old and she's just getting started. So, get a YouTube channel. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> Please comment below and tell this girl to get a YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyways, but what I wanted to say also, like, if you have an interesting story, or even if you don't have an interesting story, I think we YouTube, all have an interesting story. YouTube is just such a nice way to express yourself, regardless of what you do, what your specialty is. You know, just get on there. I call, I, I'll call YouTube my therapy. I do it for myself. A lot of people, I think the most important thing is to do it for yourself. It's a way for you to communicate with yourself and get things out, and it can help yourself. Many people who start on YouTube when they're just starting out they actually started when they're going through a rough time exactly and it helped them get through that rough time that's then, the best time to start yeah because people i like you guys watching you love to see I'm that i'm just eating because i'm so awkward <laughs> Awkward is good. Awkward is perfect. <laughs> yeah and we, we recommended this book too yeah What's we just gave her a turn? copy it's always your turn so okay it's get yeah, on youtube oh, thank you So it's a beautiful day here in London and I'm on my way to go get some acupuncture done. I haven't done it in years actually. The first time I did it was when I was really young, maybe seven, eight, probably eight, nine years old. And I actually experienced sort of like separation anxiety when my mom would go to work and wouldn't come home on time. It wasn't pleasant and eventually my mom decided to get some help and she heard about acupuncture so I went to about 10 sessions and as a kid it was like a bit weird but I also thought it was interesting and after 10 sessions you know this separation anxiety completely disappeared it's like gone <laughs> so then later in life I used it one more time probably a few years ago and when I was experiencing some anxiety and again I just did a few sessions I wasn't really crazy about the person who was doing it because I think with acupuncture it's really important actually with anything when you have a doctor or somebody helping you it's really important that you connect with the person and you feel that that person actually cares about you and cares about your healing so yeah um, I've just been experiencing some stomach issues recently and I thought you know I really believe acupuncture can help me because it sort of balances the yin and the yang all the any disease that happens in the body usually happens because there's some disbalance of energies I gotta figure out where I'm walking <laughs> I don't even know I gotta look on my phone but anyways it kind of balances the energies in your body and then let me see where I gotta turn I gotta walk there okay so yeah, once it, once it balances in your body, all the energy is balancing in your body, you're good to go and you know, you're healthy. So yeah, this will be the first time I'm trying this lady, so I'm super excited. I don't know how it's gonna go. Acupuncture is a bit weird because they're, if you've never got it done, it's a bit strange because what they do is pretty much pierce you with some needles, but you can't really feel anything because it's very tiny needles. You barely feel it in your body. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. 
<laughs> so today we're filming the rainy lookbook although it's not raining <laughs> in fact it's sunny right now but we're still Can't gonna get rain in london i don't know Who for the thought? last two weeks it hasn't really like it drizzles once in a while but it doesn't really like rain rain anyways but you know it's april so i'm sure it's gonna be a lot of showers still and yeah right now we're gonna do our best to somehow it's make it rain. make it seem like it's raining Yes, cat. You'll uh -huh. you'll work yeah, the magic. magic. <laughs> Some effects. Yeah, we'll make it rain. Mimi is rocking um, rainy outfits on a sunny day. <laughs> Don't be worried, worried. Your soul's in a wild fight. Feel the beating, beating, the beating. Mimi, what do you think about London's weather? It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> Hi guys, um, don't mind my hair. <laughs> I just clipped it in, you know, for the heatless curls. And I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna have really nice waves. So anyways, I wanted to give you guys a little update on my acupuncture situation because I don't think I vlogged after I went to acupuncture. I really really enjoyed the session that I had I actually already had two since I went and um, the lady's really amazing we're really connected and one of the things she she told me which was super interesting because I didn't talk to her about what I do and my lifestyle well I didn't talk about it in detail anyways she checked my tongue and you know she checked my pulse and apparently there's like six different or seven I don't know there's a few different pulse spots where you can listen not only to the heart but to the body and to all the internal organs and after she listened to it she's like Mimi you really need to slow down you know you're kind of exhausted you really need to take time to just sit still and you know you're always pushing 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 but you really need to make some time for yourself just to be by yourself and just have some alone time and I was just looking at her like how the hell do you know this <laughs> it's very interesting because you know that's why I think Eastern medicine is so fascinating is that somebody can spend you know less than an hour with you but just by listening and tuning into your body your body is actually speaking and telling what it needs to rebalance itself so pretty much yeah I'm gonna go to her a few more times but what she said is that you know you really need to make some time for self-love in your daily life just to sit still and for me sitting still is like one of the hardest thing to do because like I'm always moving I love what I do and like I'm always excited to do things since I was a kid it was really hard for me to just sit still and just do nothing but at the same time like I realize now how important in life it is to just sit still and that's why for example in my morning routine like I practice meditation now and even those 10 11 minutes like it's work and then in the evening I do meditation as well so you know she said just do more of that also just spend some time you know in nature and just like just don't be on your phone don't be on your computer just unplug and be present and listen to your body because your body and your heart will tell you what you need to do in your life to make it better to change for the better so um yeah i've been just you know putting my phone more in airplane mode because i don't know if you watched my video that i did a few years ago on about like are you addicted to your phone if you haven't watched it i'm gonna link it here and down below um, you know at one point I realized I was quite addicted to technology and especially my iPhone so what I did is I you know I limited myself to checking my phone only three times but I kind of stopped doing that now I think after we moved to London I just got too excited about you know taking pictures all the time and sharing things and videos but I think now I'm realizing that it's time to you know slow down a little bit and it's still okay to of course communicate online but it's also important to sometimes just unplug and be present so you know when I have dinners with people People, like I, I'll just put my phone on airplane mode or I will leave it in my bag so I don't get distracted I'm just present or if I'm cooking and that's also one of the things this lady that does the uh, acupuncture she told me she said you know if you're cooking just put your phone away just cook just do something with your hands and be present with it and that's very very therapeutical and it balances your energies and and I really just wanted to share with you because I'm sure some of you guys are just like me and like you very much into like pushing yourself and trying to do your best Best every single day however it's also important to take time to just like be carefree and just enjoy yourself and lay in the hammock and lay in the grass in the park and just do nothing sometimes and just take time to really show love to yourself because essentially your relationship with yourself is you know 
it will reflect in your physical well-being and it will also reflect in your relationship with the world and with other people with other relationships in your life I don't know if I'm making sense but I just really thought I would share it with you because I've started doing it and it's only been a few days but I'm already feeling how I am rebalancing and I'm also listening to my body and like okay yes it makes sense like I do want to spend time just more in quietness and stillness as hard and as challenging as I find that because I love to do so many things and I'm very very exciting excited and creative person so it's almost like my brain doesn't shut off I'm always thinking like oh I want to do this video and this is how I'm gonna do it and this is the shot and it's like sometimes you just need to unplug so right now I'm just gonna put my phone on airplane mode have breakfast and then we're gonna go for a really nice long walk and I'm gonna vlog but I, I feel like vlogging is a bit different I find that vlogging is like therapy almost like I get to talk to you and express and expression is actually really good for me because it allows me to also learn more about myself and grow so I look at vlogging very different I think it's actually quite helpful in a personal growth so yeah that's all I have for you right now <laughs> museum with Alex. We come here at least once a week. <laughs> yeah, we're in the neighborhood. So. On, an, uh, on our beautiful walks on the weekends. And that's my beautiful friend I-10 who is visiting from Dubai. She lost her voice when she went to Sting. Too much screaming. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> This is a notebook of Leonardo da Vinci, his actual notebook with his sketches. How crazy is this, guys? Oh my god, how is this still physically here? <laughs> Good quality notebook. <laughs> There's this crazy race and people dressed up in like in, in 40s or 50s outfits. It's called Tweed Race. Tweed We're Race. Tweed. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. <laughs> so cute. Look at this guy with the on his wheel. Where's? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's like we're back in time. Nice outfit. <laughs> Beautiful day at Regent's Park. One of our favorite parks to come to in London. Hey little fella. I don't know what they're called in English. I know in Russian it's called Sapli. What do you how do you call them in English, Alex? Sapli. Oh my god, what the... Man, that was scary. <laughs> Hello. Everyone is fighting for attention in this world. Even animals. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen a black swan. This is so crazy. It's so beautiful. And completely, completely black. He's coming to us. Hey, beautiful. Wow. 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 So beautiful. Oh, 
I don't know what's happening today. But as you can see, there's tons, tons, tons of people. Say hi. Hi. Look at this girl and how gorgeous she is. <laughs> Look at this guy and how gorgeous he is. <laughs> Look at you and how gorgeous you are. <laughs> So we just got it. We had no idea. We we're just walking through. I think it was a neighborhood party or something. It was like a block party. It was block crazy. Party, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It was craziness. I've never seen so many people actually in one place. You, act, you honestly couldn't move. Like, it was it's not actually, possible. It's scary when you're like right in the middle of it all. Yeah. But I found my way through. We got out. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's by Monet. All of his work is actually very light and magical. So pretty. And this is my favorite painting here. This beautiful massive horse. Something very powerful about it. This is crazy. Look at all these flowers and all the colors. Wow. Super cool. I'm just walking home from um, a meditation class I do once a week. It's like an hour sit, which is always a lot of work, you know, sitting still for an hour. It's funny because people ask me often, you know, Mimi, how are you always so positive? And, you know, how are you always so happy? <laughs> and the reality is, you guys. I'm not, you know, and I've shared this before in other videos, like, you know, I obviously have negative thoughts, negative days sometimes, and, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of inner work that goes on that you might not see on camera, in vlogs, or in Instagram pictures, and that's why, you know, I'm starting to share more with you guys, because I know some of you may be going through the same thing, like, personally, I'm very, very hard on myself, I'm starting to realize that although... <laughs> I don't want to admit it maybe to myself. I actually am, I think, a perfectionist. So if things are not the way I want them, I can be really, really tough on myself and I can even judge myself. And you know, there's a lot of things that I would like to improve. And of course, you know, doing meditation, my morning routine, constantly reading self-help books is what keeps me motivated and what keeps me positive and what keeps me happy. On the days that I feel down, for example, it's very, very, very helpful. And of course, you know, being around positive people, uplifting people that, oh, there's a beautiful sunset behind me. Oh no, that's not a sunset, that's a lamp. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know if you're you, the one watching this right now, if you're just like me, if you tend to be hard on yourself and you know, you tend to 
just take it out on yourself sometimes to know that you're not alone and you don't have to live with that you can improve your relationship with yourself it's not gonna be overnight first you have to become aware that you want to improve and then you got to do your best at you know slowly creating this loving relationship with yourself one step at a time learning to be gentle with yourself learning to take it easy learning to find some time to just breathe you know just be quiet and breathe and just be with yourself and you know just find find that time to love yourself anyways that's all i wanted to share with you i love you guys and i i truly believe that the best is yet to come for you for me for everyone